Three scientists have won this year's Nobel Prize in Physics for their respective discoveries in climate modelling and complex physical systems. Making the announcement a little while ago, the Royal Swedish Academy said the scientists' discoveries demonstrate that our knowledge about the climate rests on a solid scientific foundation. Let's listen to that announcement. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the 2021 Nobel Prize in Physics for groundbreaking contributions to our understanding of complex physical systems. One half of the prize is awarded jointly to Shukuro Manabe and Klaus Hasselmann for the physical modeling of Earth's climate, quantifying variability and reliably predicting global warming. The other half goes to Giorgio Parisi for the discovery of the interplay of disorder and fluctuations in physical systems from atomic to planetary scales. Well, to put that into perspective now, I'm joined uh, with, uh, by Lea Albrecht, rather, uh, from DW Science. Uh, Lea, you surprised? Uh, well, yes and no. <laughs> no, because it's, again, three guys uh, from working in U the US and Europe, which is mostly the case uh, in, in the Nobel Prize history. Mm -hmm. But yes, because, um, first of all, the nominees are never um, published beforehand, not even to us, the science journalists. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but again, but, but also it's um, kind of... I think it's a research that's honored here, which is really important, which mm -hmm. is um, important to us and today, even though it's from uh, older days, mm -hmm. but we see its impact and its use right now concerning the climate change, for example. Well, uh, talk us through this. Uh, through a divided prize, what unites all these three? They are united by the, complex, or by the complexity of their meta, I would say. Um, both studied, um, or the three of them studied complex system, systems and, well, apparently random systems. Um, and a big chunk of it is mathematical modeling, which also kind of unites them, if you want to say it in lay terms. Um, and yeah, and both are really fundamental to our understanding of how our world functions mm. and how complex it is, even though it looks simple from above, from the universe, it looks like a ball. Mm. But when you get closer, you see the clouds moving, you see um, atmospheric streams, going around and there you understand how yeah how mm. complex and sensitive the system is the climate of course being an incredibly complex uh, systems can you tell us a bit more about klaus hasselmann and sukuro manabe and the work they did to produce these climate models so manabe and hasselmann they are both they, they both work in meteorology um, and climate sciences um, and they laid the groundwork to understand um, a topic that's as you said, up to date, it's climate change. Um, Manabe showed that if we emit more CO2, more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, that temperatures on Earth are rising. That doesn't seem to be new to us today because everyone's talking about this, but he, um, mod he did these modelings in the 1960s. In the 60s? Yes, so we need to have this in mind. <laughs> okay. And then um, Hasselmann linked weather and climate. So he linked kind of the short term and the long term and showed how we as humans, um, or in, in general, how climate can be influenced by natural phenomena, but also by humans. And his methods are used to predict how human emissions of CO2 mm. can alter the climate. So a pretty, uh, pretty uh, political statement as well, this uh, uh, Nobel uh, Prize. Uh, what about Definitely. the third winner, Giorgio Parisi? George Parisi worked on glass. I think his research on is glass. a bit on glass. Yeah, I think his research is a bit kind of um, less um, understandable, maybe. But it's important. It's interesting because he worked on glass, which is a weird thing. It seems um, well every day of everyday substance to us. I mean, this is, yeah, this is glass. <laughs> we, some something like glass, but it's actually uh, it looks solid, but it's actually something in between solid and liquid. And uh, Parisi studied magnetic version of glass, which is called spin glass. Mm -hmm. um, and it seems to be a very chaotic and random system. And he laid the groundwork to understand these seemingly random materials. And they are now, or his, um, his research is now used in neurosciences, machine learning, and many other dis disciplines. Fascinating. Thank you very much, Lea Albrecht. My pleasure. DW Science.